one. Hello, what's going on? Uh, we are here in the Worst Dates Attic, yes. um, where we film our podcast, which you can listen to on BBC Sounds as well. Today, we have Rose and Rosie, who are our first Worst Dates couple. Yeah. And they have a horrendous dating experience that both, both of them were involved in, weren't they? Well, they had a couple, yeah. So, uh, yeah, they went for it. And it was good. <laughs> Here's the best bits. Here's the best bits. Joining us in the West Days podcast today is the wonderful Rose and Rosie. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Good. good. Thanks good. for coming on. Are you having a lovely time yet? I'm having a lovely here. time. <laughs> <laughs> right. These chairs are comfortable. Yeah. And uh, we're going to talk about awkward, terrible dating experiences. Ooh. But we should say, obviously, you've been together for many years. Too a long, long time. Oh. Too, Too long. long. Yeah, it's eight years this year. <laughs> is it? And oh, it's right. married for four this year. Well done, Rosie. Yes. Nice. Yeah, I know. I you knew that, Rose, didn't you? Of course. I always know. When's our anniversary? Which one? The wedding. Uh, 20th of March. What year? Too Every long, Rosie. Every year. <laughs> <laughs> Every year. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. Well done. Well done. I want to know how you guys met. Uh, well, wow. we dated the same person, not at the same time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It's, a, it's an intricate yeah. lesbian web, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the lesbian dating world. Yeah. Um, I was with a girl for four years, and uh, previously she was with her in high school, and we kind of met through her. I had a horrible relationship with her, yes. and, uh, but it led to somewhere good. Right, so. and also Rose stalked me. That's true. Sto true. No, true story. Oh, well. um, it's quite interesting. <laughs> actually she got her friends in her car to like drive past my house and um i happened to be in the window and i, I was in a bath towel and i you just dropped my to bath be naked. towel it and they like drove past yeah. me naked and um that was like and you were like yes me. i can work with that Let's yeah exactly. pretty much that's how we i felt that's yeah. the first time i saw you in person and then and then another time she stalked me she was driving down the road Rosie, saw me Rosie. walking down the road and t pulled a u-turn and I'm, followed me i'm oh, not wow. coming across yeah. particularly well here <laughs> i love this though the effort that you went exactly. to i like to think it was worth do you enjoy dating? Did you enjoy dating? No. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I had a very slow kind of relationship history. Um, I was quite a nervous dater, I'd say. I'm okay. very, very picky as well, which is awful, I know. But you you dated everything. Yeah. <laughs> everything. I, I got this thing where, like, I see the best in everybody. Aww. So they could be the worst. But I'm like, oh, you're nice. Give them a shot. Give them a shot. Maybe yeah, they'll turn I'm out open. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm like a bit of a hippie. I'm like, you might change my life, you know. But I've made some terrible mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd look back and I'm just like, why? It's a good oh. positive attitude, but then it gets you in some tricky situations. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, how would you sum up your dating lives in one word? Um, if you have to. Back then, I'd say turbulent. Turbulent. Um, turbulent. Vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Love that. Yeah, Strong. yeah. Right. yeah. Not a lot a classic flavour. A classic flavour. Which everyone likes. And yeah. so. Vanilla a bit bland, really. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no offence. I mean, if you're going to go in with like, if we're going to talk about ice cream flavours, I'm always going to go for a mango sorbet. Yeah, oh, wow. it's a different podcast, Fruity. but still That's good. Cherry Garcia. Um, Exotic. <laughs> cherry Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> bit, of, bit of class, you know. <laughs> um, okay, here's what we always do. We always get you to get your phones out and uh, slide in those DMs. So if you got him, um, do you ever get any DMs like now, even though obviously you're married and you're like, I'm, often, you know I'm not yeah. going to reply to that, but yeah. it's weird. Yeah, we do. We get, we get a certain type as well it's always the kind of very confident lesbian who thinks they still could if they tried yeah. which I really enjoy and they try more with Rose I get more they I do. get men a lot okay yeah and yeah Rose I don't get any men confident women <laughs> what sort of stuff do they, do they go in with um kind of like uh, oh I get this a lot I get hey I'm in London uh just wondering if you and Rosie could like show me around or maybe get coffee and I'm like <laughs> yeah yes I am the google search of places to go <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? I've got nothing else so, on today that's I'll always a that. classic that, I get that one a lot actually see mine's more annoying people try and tell me how to do things which on, on our youtube channel like people will know i'm incapable of a lot of things so i understand <laughs> but people will be like you, like I'll teach. Don't worry, Rosie. I'll teach you how to play Fortnite. Like you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take and you under like, my lesbian wing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. allow me. And it's Do like, that guys, point. that's insulting. It's not hot. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're being yeah, rude yeah. to me. It's really patronising. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so funny. that's what they lead with. Like, oh, add me. I'll teach you how to play. <laughs> I've got this covered. You're welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, All right. Have you got one worst dating experience? So uh, mm. pre you two together was was the one that sticks out. That you're like, yeah, that was awful. All your dates together. I mean, you we have got that a horrendous one. date that we had together. Which oh, was really? Fun. Yeah, oh, and it was very oh, wow, tell me. So, I'm intolerant to a lot of things. It's very hard for me to exist. I can't have like gluten, dairy, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. a lot of things. I struggle daily. Uh -huh. right. um, and uh, we went out for like this like three course meal and champagne for like, Lovely. it was like an early Valentine's Day, like quite early. Yeah. Sounds nice. Oh, yeah. 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 
this yeah. started, this yeah. started and like we well. dressed oh, up. I was in this tight dress, like lovely. Um, and we went for this meal and it was a set meal and I was like, oh, I shouldn't really be eating anything on this menu. Mm. And Rose was like, just go for I was it. Like, I'll like, be naughty. Have fun, be naughty. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. So Look I, for the thrill. Yeah. Oh, and it was like, wow. Wow. spontaneous. Yeah. yeah like it was calamari. Um, and then like a lot of chocolate, like, triple like chocolate kind of ganache and kind of rich. Yeah. Yeah. It was like fondue kind of stuff. Yeah. And um that's fine. We had a lovely meal. I had a lot of champagne. Nervous, bubbly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bubbly. We went home. We got straight into bed. Yeah. <laughs> um, we yeah, were like yeah. kissing and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> I need to fart. Um, <laughs> and then I obviously was like, oh, I, I've shit myself. Um, <laughs> hold on. No, but but what, what was worse was mm. I ran to the bathroom, which was only in the night. Like, it was really close. It was like over there. It was so close. It wasn't close uh, but enough. It, but it wasn't just like like liquid running down my leg. Oh. But I dropped some round <laughs> chunklets on the floor and Rose has OCD, so she couldn't just leave it. So Rose was getting a <laughs> tissue and Rose was picking it up. You, and I was on the toilet like, I love you. You <laughs> love you're, you're, you're chocolate the trail, yeah. literally. Was like, but what was so horrible crying and laughing. is that there were so many different consistencies yeah. and so many different emotions. Was it liquid? Oh, was, it really was, it? was it was like it little rabbit dropping? Had, was it like I, dough And ball? you can't use like a wet wipe maybe for the liquid. Uh, a bit, but then for the it was fell on carpet as it well. Was, it, it was, was on only, carpet. It was two days later, it was like actually, I can't leave two, it. two days later, I found splash, splashback on <laughs> on my person, like not me, my skin, but on like the, on, the on, on, on my outfit. Yeah. And I said, "Oh, look, Rosie, what a lovely fun reminder of our, of our first Valentine's yeah. Day." So that was that was lovely. I mean, that's you know an what? amazing That means you definitely made like to be together because like so. if that happened in any other situation, you weren't like really into each other. Fucking hell, you definitely would be never going to date with that I person mean, ever again. That is love, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. right yeah. there. You either bounce it's back or you don't. And the fact that you like level. ran after, like cleaning it up, yeah. Yeah. like yeah. I yeah. just I ran out of house. You don't see this in like proper movies, do you? Like when they sort of shit themselves. And then they go, this is actually love. It's not where you kind of go to the cinema together. Yeah. I quite happily don't have a shitting myself story on any date. Still time, Yes. I live for that day now. Oh my gosh. I am. I shit myself Christmas Day. It was like two hours into Christmas. Christmas Day, oh, shit myself. So then no one got any jeans. So I was at my mum's house, had to borrow my sister's clothes. Yeah. What a scenario did you shit yourself? I just, I, get I stood it up was, you and shit cracker. myself. I was, I was there. there. Was I there? Yeah, you were, you were there. I think it was just like, again, just it's very difficult for me to eat food. It's, it's become so common now, I don't even touch an eyelid. I'm just like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got an image of you like yeah. coming down the stairs, dressed as Santa, ready up for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry oh, Christmas. Sexy Santa. <laughs> Would With you shit. say that's your worst date as well? I'd say it was definitely. I, I can't. I can't say it was my worst date because for me it was such a fond memory and we yeah, laugh about it now. We, back and laugh. we yeah. laughed about it at the time, so for me, no. Um, my one of my worst dates, I think, was. I think I was very young as well, and I was with a guy, and um, he thought the most. He was basically he was just trying to sleep with me, and um, there was no kind of like romantic lead up, nothing. Uh -huh. It was just Snoop Dogg actually, and that was it. He was like, let me put some romantic music on, wax on Snoop Dogg. And then, um, and then he, he, I can't remember. Yeah. I'm, I'm too traumatized, Luke, <laughs> I, I tried to forget. But then I remember him blaming me because he couldn't perform in the moment. And then I walked away thinking, oh, this is horrible. I'm, I'm a terrible person. No. <laughs> was this the guy oh, who went awful. out and got a bowl of water and a razor? No, Rosie, that's a different time oh. that I wasn't going to talk about. What? Tell me that. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Back to, back to, back to. Well, well, okay. So basically another guy, oh, men are coming across so well. Yeah, this. They um, tried to shave Rose. <laughs> yeah, the thing, I, I wasn't but like she didn't need donning shaving. a particular <laughs> hairy fashion down there in any way. If anything, I'm quite the opposite. Uh -huh. so everyone knows. Anyway, um, so yeah. back then I was very, very, you know, trim. it was like a shadow, yeah, and like a shadow, right. yeah. Okay. And uh, and this guy, and this was my first time as well. And this guy was like, "Do you mind if I just shave, shave he, it all? I'm not, I'm not yeah. into it." And Can I was you like, oh, I was "That's like, absolutely I was like, mad." Yeah, I'd prefer he walked it if he out, didn't, came you know? back with a bowl he of fake water no, razor after I like, said, "Wasn't no. even a fresh razor." Yeah, because yeah, yeah, that happened. And then I was like. I don't really feel like doing Insulting. it. Insulting. And I then mean, I did it. Ways anyway. to kill the mood. Try yeah, and shave it. Uh, so if you want to be natural, then you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Probably dump the guy, I imagine. He should be lucky. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So go near her tuft. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's He's a quite a strange tuft. man. Yeah. I feel like we don't sort of um, solve many problems on this podcast, but one we have is don't try and shave the person you're getting with. I mean, yeah. Just as a general rule. And just try not to poo. Yeah, try not to. You know, that's shit literally. Get it out of the way early. Yeah, exactly. No barriers.
Exactly, no barriers. Exactly. That's, I'm a big believer in that, no barriers. Yeah, uh -huh. Literally Be and honest. physically, no barriers yeah. to the floor. Yeah. 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 Me and Rose go to the same cubicle. I need absolute <laughs> comfort. I, mean, I, need to, I need to know yeah. she's going to be there yeah. when it drops. Yeah. Yeah. When shit hits the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. You know, when, when it hits. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. Like, that mortifies me. Really? Yeah, like I've got an auntie in my bedroom and then I've got a main bathroom and if I ever have like someone around her, not that I do, I always go to the main bathroom so like the cat I'm as far away from them as possible. I learned this early on in dating, and I think this is important. If you like, when it's early, obviously, you, and you need to do a poo, and you don't want to smell out the house, yeah, um, this is a good trick to, to poo, and then as you're pooing, immediately flush it, Mate, yeah, because then the poo goes trade. down, yeah. and then yeah. you don't smell it at all. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, all right, now uh, we always have a big question on the podcast that we thought we'd get your opinions on. So today it is: What is the worst way to leave a bad day? Mm. All right, and we thought we'd do like a sort of top five. So um, if I start with number five, it's like, you know, sort of an averagely bad way. Uh, you could just go to the toilet and then just never come back. Would be mm. one way oh, to leave. That's a classic that. though, isn't it? It's, like, it's reliable. It's a reliable mm. classic. That yeah. would make me sad forever. I think I'd remember it at night and then <laughs> like feel really guilty. I've done the yeah. fake phone call. I was going to say the emergency oh, yeah. call. Well, you can set those up as well. Call. You can yeah. say, right, call me if I that say That would this. be my go-to. If yeah. I was on a terrible date, I'd, I've just had a terrible emergency, a bereavement, if you will, and I need to leave. <sighs> wow, okay, so that's now. like, yeah, that's, that's quite, uh, No yeah, one's going to ask I went babysitting. But I mean, you went there. I feel so. like that's weaker. You've you got to remember your story though, else that's going to be weird. Yeah, you've got to remember who died. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> when you read, yeah, exactly. There are um, details. Yeah, <laughs> what do you reckon the worst way, number one? In a body bag. In a oh, body that's, bag. that's would dark, crazy, isn't it? Away. That's really dark. Um, <laughs> do you mean the thing. most shameful way? Yeah, like the worst way to leave a day. What do you reckon um, it would be, Alf? Oh, how about just like, you're boring and you're also paying for it, so I'm gonna. Nice, yeah, that's wow. good, isn't it? That's... Straight to the point. It's honest. You've got <laughs> yeah. a, an admirable honesty. Yeah, yeah, but it's not constructive criticism, though. <laughs> you can, what, you you can is that what it requires? Like, yeah, all I'd like to know what I did wrong <laughs> if I was making a mistake. A bit that of I feedback. Did we did have someone who went on a date with someone, and by, by the third date, the, the girl brought a crank it up for him. And it was a questionnaire to say to, to, to like to basically to see if you were at the point of wanting to crank it up to the next level with Oh, her. you don't bring a questionnaire. Questionnaires are <laughs> why sexy they stuff. You get all the you get you get your, feedback. You get, like, you get your yeah. constructive yeah, criticism. Oh, I don't want to do admin on a date. I want to have a yeah, nice yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Monday afternoons for admin day. I don't yeah. want to do it on a night out. No, it's true. It's true. No, yeah. that's a that. Sunday night job. Yeah, a Sunday night you know? job for sure. <laughs> yeah, um, you yeah. could have a spiritual experience and get like a premonition and then leave. That's quite good. Yeah. Well, like a Final Fantasy. Yeah, or you could put like your tarot. Cards or I mean, I fell down the stairs. That was a that was, a, that was a way to end a day. Not intentional. Not on purpose. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, funny. I tore a ligament and was like hobbling for like <laughs> two weeks. Wow. <laughs> Maybe you had a for reason. Like, you legit injured yourself. But that yeah. was like that was a spectacular way to end a day. Just like yeah. mm. basically, I was at the top of the stairs. I fell <gasps> over the stairs, <gasps> like oh. onto the actual pavement. <laughs> oh wow! Because <laughs> I tripped off on my own feet. Hey. Nice. Use any of those in that list if you want to get out of a date. It's probably uh, just go for any other. Uh, we always have a section in this podcast where we read out our listeners' worst date Ooh. situations. Uh, we get sent in some crackers. Uh, I'm going to start with Kat. Uh, Kat is saying I've got a long list of terrible dates. In fact, a list as long as my arm. Uh, my there was a first date with a lad bringing his parents along. That was oh, that's nice. weird. Why would you do that? That's very strange. Yeah. I got concussion from another date. Oh, no. uh, there was the lad. Is this Bridget Jones? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There was a guy that arrived three hours late and I was so bored waiting. I got so drunk and was dancing on the bar by the time he actually arrived. Wow. I'm surprised she stayed. Yeah. Three hours. Three hours. He stayed for about 10 minutes and left. Yeah. Oh my what? God. Yeah, three hours is a long time. I would have to get with someone else. else. I need to know why concussion happened. Yeah. I mean, that's... I know. I know. I wish I'd asked him that. Probably actually. dancing on the bars. Probably. There the you go, day. there you go. Mm. Same Stacked day. it. All the same date. I, what yeah. is the longest you would wait for a day if it, like... 40 yeah. minutes, I reckon. I've done 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah. under shout. an hour. Yeah, under, under an hour. Under an hour. Yeah. Under an hour's hour. desperate. 53 Let it go. max. Yeah. What's wrong with people? <laughs> I don't know. I Come don't know. on. <laughs> um, here's like... one from Anonymous who says, I went on a date with my neighbour and less than five minutes in, she launched into a pitch for a great business opportunity that was basically a pyramid scheme. Pyramid scheme. scheme. And then left. No, oh, I left never date your yeah. neighbour. Never date your neighbour because yeah, then you so next door to her. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. forever, isn't it? No yeah. neighbour dating never story date a flatmate. ends well. Never ever. date, shouldn't really date someone at work because no. you're just going to, if you break up, it's so awkward. Yeah. Do you think dating's getting harder or easier? Yeah, generation. what do you think? I worry that no one knows how to 
really communicate anymore. People are just on, like, trying to look good on Facebook you know right? on their social right, media. Right, yeah, right, right, I agree right. with that. And also, I think it's harder now to have a, a relationship that lasts a long time. Like you girls. Great. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Um, Thank you. <laughs> I think it's easier to date mm. and do loads of different dates all the time. Yeah. It's hard to have like a long, strong yeah. relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, also, we've got a caller on the line. So Adam's on the phone. Adam, uh, you're here with Rosie Hello. and Rosie. And Ariel's here as well, obviously. So uh, go for your story, mate. I'm excited. My worst date. Well, I was with an ex at the time and I took him to one of those adventure water parks in the Albert Dock in Liverpool. That's a good that date. That is a mm. good date venue situation. But I somehow fell in the water because I did a total wipe out stunt, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, How did you end up in the water? Let's just say, but one of the obstacles was like three humps. Like if you're going over in the car, like a hump, but it's over in the water. So that was me running towards it, and then I somehow slid on the hump and then went into the water. And then my ex then found a jellyfish just next to the hump, hold it in his hand and throw it at me. And I was like, what the hell? That is oh my God. Wow. He became an ex-boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Where did the jellyfish hit you, precisely? Good question. It hit me just on the forehead, on the top. Oh, wow. Humiliating, Did too, you think someone would have to wee on luckily, your forehead? Luckily, I, was, I had a helmet on at the time. So, like, when the helmet was, like, meeting, like, where my yeah. forehead was, yeah. that's where it landed. Oh. And I thought to myself, oh, my goodness me, I'm going to get some by a jellyfish. I'm going to have to get a doctor <laughs> with his little medical kit and vinegar to get rid of the jellyfish thing. <laughs> Apparently, it was a special name, jellyfish, that is friendly to all humans, and it doesn't sting. I was thinking to myself, that can't be possible. Right, okay, you've, so... You've painted quite the picture. Yeah, jellyfishes, helmets, everything. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Rubber hubs. Yeah. yeah, rubber helmets. Good story. Thanks, Adam. Thank Thanks very much for that. Thank you so much. Thanks. Hey, no problem, guys. Cheers, mate. Hopefully Cheers, your dates get better from here. Yeah. Bye, Adam. Bye, Adam. I think I've ever been on a date where jellyfish has been involved, so... No, no. Oh, is that uh, lucky? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thanks so much, Rose and Rosie, for coming on the podcast. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having us. us. Enjoyed uh, myself so much. Good. I had a lovely Good time. Do you feel better? Do you feel lighter? I do. Actually. It was like therapy, honestly. Yeah, so, therapy. yeah, it was great. Lovely, love it. <laughs> if you want to subscribe to West Dates, we'd love to have you involved every week with us. You can also watch us now on the YouTube channel. We have a West Dates attic. Uh, make sure you subscribe and download and tell all your pals. Yeah, do it. See you next time.